Dude, what's up? Hey, it's the dude. Dude, no. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Dude Arena. Dude. The dudester. <laughs> dude. Oh, yeah, this weekend. No, I'm going to be hanging around. I'm probably going to go down to the Phoenix Center. Maybe do some skateboarding. Heard talk about a football game. Dude. Football, yeah, there's no football this week, but probably be playing outside. Yeah, we did. Oh, Oh, dude, we got a test. Oh, I forgot about that. What's it on? Math? I don't, oh, man, I have no idea. I guess I'll have to try to figure it out. Yeah, good luck. See ya. Mr. Binder, what's up? How's it going? Binkley, dude. Hey, what's going on, brother? Hey, what you up to this weekend, man? Should be a great weekend. The weather is supposed to be outstanding. Oh, this weekend? Dude, dude, you're asking me about this weekend? I, I don't think I can do anything this weekend, dude. No, dude, we got this test next week, and the kids don't know anything. I think we're really going to have to, like, do something about this. Oh, are you serious? You know, I, I started to notice in my class a lot of these kids aren't getting it either. You know what? Video. Video, dude. Dude! Video! What? Why wouldn't I think of that? Oh my goodness, dude! Yeah, you too. All right, um... Yeah, yeah, come down here um, right away and uh, we'll get started on this. Okay. All right, dude, hey. Video. I'll be right down. All right. Talk to you later. See ya. The first thing you got to remember when you're multiplying or dividing fractions and mixed numbers is to make sure you have all fractions. That's all you want. All right, kids, Mr. Binkley already told you that step one is to turn every number in the problem into a fraction. Step two is to check your sign. If the problem is multiplication, then you can proceed to step three. If it's division, there's one more thing you need to do. The third step is, is when you are dividing fractions, you have to take the second number, the divisor, and flip it, and that's finding its reciprocal. Hey, Mr. Binkley, could you show me an example of a problem with multiplication? Sure. Um, say we had 3 and 1 thirds times 6. Okay, to go about solving this problem here, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite the problem so that, it's, that both of my numbers are fractions. Okay, so 3 and 1 thirds, that is a mixed number. I'm going to change it into an improper fraction. How do you do that, Mr. Binkley? Okay, to get an improper fraction, you take the denominator, which is 3 here, times the whole number, so 3 times 3 is 9, add your numerator, so 3 times 3 was 9, plus 1 is 10. That's my numerator, you keep your denominator the same. So 10 thirds is my improper fraction for the mixed number 3 and 1 third, times 6, the whole number. Now how do you change a whole number into a fraction? Very good question. Okay, 6 is really easy to turn into fraction form. All you have to do is put that number over 1. So this would become 6 over 1. And that's just saying 6 divided by 1, which is 6. So we have our new problem set up here, 10 thirds times 6 over 1. Next step is, is to simplify and then multiply. So if there's anything I can simplify, which I notice the 6 and the 3 can both be divided by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Now, I look at my problem. Everything is simplified. I can't simplify the 10 and the 2 because they're both numerators. I have to have one numerator and one denominator to simplify. So now I just take my, my numerators and multiply them, and my denominators and multiply them. So 10 times 2 is 20 over 1 times 1 is 1. Now, do I leave the answer as 20 over 1? 
Good question. 20 over 1 is really just saying 20 divided by 1. So that just equals 20. Whenever you see a number over 1, it's really simple. It's always just your numerator. So our answer here is 20. Hey, Mr. Bender, how about you do a division problem for me, please? I'd love to do one, Mr. Binkley. Let's look at this example. We have 4 and 1 6 divided by 5 twelfths. Now, you already told me that in order to do either multiplication or division, both numbers need to be turned into fractions. Now, 5 twelfths is already a fraction, but 4 and 1 6 is a mixed number. So, again, according to what you showed me, take the denominator 6, multiply it by the whole number 4, which is 24, add the numerator, makes 25, and the denominator stays the same. So we have 25 sixths. Now, if you have division, we're going to do two things. We're going to take the sign and change it to its opposite. The opposite of division is multiplication. And then we're going to find the reciprocal of 5 twelfths. And all you have to do is flip it. So take the the numerator becomes the denominator, and the denominator becomes the numerator, so it becomes 12 fifths. Now we have a multiplication problem involving two fractions. We're going to look for numbers that could be simplified. I notice the 6 and 12 can both be divided by 6. This becomes 1. This becomes 2. The 5 and the 25 could each be divided by 5. That becomes 1, and that becomes 5. If we multiply our numerators. Nothing else can be simplified. We get 10 and multiply the denominators and get 1. Like you showed us, if you have a mix or an improper fraction with 1 as a denominator, it's simply 10. Dude, 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 d